Hey guys, before this video gets started, I wanted to say that for the 13 original colonies, I'm going to be using um, the land that they had in 13 original colonies. So if you notice, New York is a part of Vermont, so I got rid of Vermont's electoral votes and combined it with New York. Um, West Virginia and Virginia are together, so the Republican part of West Virginia and the Democratic part of Virginia have fused together, and the rest of the states are as they were. Um, and Massachusetts and Maine. Maine was a part of Massachusetts back then, so... Um, I'm just going to give the land from Maine to Massachusetts and call it as a whole for the electoral vote. So let's just get right into this video. Good evening. Welcome to Election Night 2016. Tonight we have Hillary Clinton running against Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton from Arkansas moved to New York to run for president here in the 13 original colonies and Donald Trump, of course, being born in Brooklyn, New York. Let's look at the electoral vote map. We have 167 electoral votes, 84 are needed to win, which is the simple majority. We have New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. And let's look at the 2012 election results. Hillary Clinton was elected president with 142 electoral votes against Mitt Romney's 25 electoral votes, an overwhelming victory for her. It is now time for the 7 p.m. poll closings. We have Virginia, South Carolina, the upper part of New York, and Georgia. At the state of South Carolina, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their nine electoral votes. Out of the state of Virginia, 18 electoral votes, a big prize, a flip from 2012. Donald Trump is the projected winner of their 18 electoral votes. Out of the state of Georgia, it is too close to call 16 electoral votes in total. We do not have results out of the state of New York. We will now go to the electoral map. 84 electoral votes are needed to win, 27 electoral votes for Donald Trump, and 0 for Hillary Clinton. It is now time for the 7.30 p.m. poll closings. Out of the state of North Carolina, the state of North Carolina is too close to call 15 electoral votes in total. Hillary Clinton is in the lead. And the electoral map, no change here, 27 for, Do for Donald Trump, and 0 for President Hillary Clinton. It is now time for the 8 o'clock p.m. poll closings. Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire. Out of the state of Maryland, Hillary Clinton is the projected winner of their 10 electoral votes. Out of the state of Delaware, Hillary Clinton is also the projected winner of 3 electoral votes. Out of the state of New Jersey, as 14 electoral votes will go to Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton will also carry Connecticut's 7 electoral votes. And out of the state of Rhode Island, Hillary, Hillary Clinton is the projected winner of their 4 electoral votes. Now out of the state of Massachusetts, 15 electoral votes going to Hillary Clinton. And now out of the state of New Hampshire, it is too close to call 4 electoral votes. And the state of Pennsylvania is too close to call 20 electoral votes. Now let's look at the current electoral map. 53 for Hillary Clinton and 27 for Donald Trump. It is now time for the 9 p.m. poll closings. Out of the state of New York, 32 electoral votes are now projected to go to Hillary Clinton. 31 electoral votes for her. Sorry, 32 electoral votes for her. She's taking over 60% of the vote while Donald Trump takes 30%. And the current electoral map is on your screen now. We have Hillary Clinton at 85 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 27. This means Hillary Clinton has been re-elected as President of the United States. Stand by for three major projections. Out of the state of Georgia, its 16 electoral votes are projected to go to Donald Trump. However, it won't matter. His path to 84 has been foreclosed. Again, as out of the state of North Carolina, Donald Trump is the projected winner of their 15 electoral votes. Now to the state of New Hampshire, another win for the Clinton column. President Hillary Clinton has won the state of New Hampshire for electoral votes. And now the electoral map is on your screen now. As you can see, President Hillary Clinton has been re-elected with 89 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 58. The only state not called yet is the state of Pennsylvania. And stand by for a major projection out of the state of Pennsylvania. The state of Pennsylvania is now projected to be won by Donald Trump by a margin of 0.4%. Give him 20 electoral votes today. And the final electoral map. Tonight, President Hillary Clinton was re-elected 
as President of the United States with 89 electoral votes, 5 over the, the needed amount, while Donald Trump took 78 electoral votes. Thank you guys for watching, and I know this video was short. I'm going to try to get some more election nights out. Um, follow me on my social media on Twitter at LTE Updates to find out more updates about my videos um, every day. And my Patreon is patreon.com slash LTE. And upcoming I will have multiple uploads um, a day starting, ending, actually ending tomorrow. Um, Comment notifications spot if you're early on my videos. And yeah, so it'll end tomorrow with my multiple uploads because school starts on Tuesday. So yeah, and click here to watch my previous videos. Click on the left to watch my most recent election night. And if you want to see Clinton versus Trump in 2020, um, one of my first videos actually, click on the right and subscribe in the center. And thank you all for watching.